DocuSign offers a wide selection of field types with customizable properties to support your workflow needs. In this video, we'll look at common field properties and how to configure them. When you select a field, you can access the Field Properties panel, which displays any adjustable properties and settings for that specific field. You can also select multiple fields on the document to edit field properties at the same time. Though properties are similar for all field types, not all properties apply to all fields. Let's use a standard text field to look at some of the most common properties. The recipient drop-down list is available when there are multiple signers in the workflow. Use this list to quickly change who the field is assigned to. The required field option allows you to specify if the field is required or optional. Required fields must be completed to finish the signing process. For some field types, such as a text field, you have the option to make the field read only. This is helpful when you want to enter information in the field before sending and prevent changes by a signer. The formatting option allows you to define the font, size, and color of text entered into the field. For text fields specifically, you can choose to hide the text with asterisks. Though hidden to all signers, this data will still be viewable to the sender of the envelope. The data label provides a field identifier typically only visible to the sender. We recommend that you update the default data labels with more descriptive text to make working with other features like web forms or conditional logic easier. You can also use data labels to populate information across fields. When you make the data label for each one exactly the same, the signer will only need to enter the information once to populate across all linked fields. Use the tooltip to provide instructions to the signer for completing the field. The tooltip will only display when the signer hovers their cursor over the field and will not be a permanent part of the document. Use the validation option when you need to enforce a validation standard on the field. When you apply data validation, your signer is prompted to provide correctly formatted data to continue signing the agreement. Under location, you can adjust the field's location or set up autoplace. With autoplace, you can quickly place a copy of a field at every instance of a defined string of characters within your document. For example, if you have an agreement that requires multiple initial fields, you can set up the fields to place a copy near every instance of the word initial. Use conditional fields to set up, review, and edit conditional relationships between fields. You can create rules to hide fields until a recipient triggers them to appear. In this example, when the checkbox is checked, the drop-down menu will appear. If the checkbox is left unchecked, the drop-down field is hidden from the signer. Once you've customized a field's properties, you can save it as a custom field to reuse it in another envelope or template. Click Save as Custom Field, enter a field name, then click Save. The custom field will be saved in the Custom Fields tab. After configuring your fields and field properties, use the Preview option to ensure your fields are set up correctly before sending the envelope. 